ജിംറീസിന്റെ ശബ്ദത്തെക്കാളും അതുപോലെ ലതാ മങ്കേഷ്കറിന്റെ ശബ്ദത്തെക്കാളും ഏറ്റവും മാതൃമുള്ള ഒരു ശബ്ദം ഉണ്ടായി ആ ശബ്ദത്തെ കുറിച്ചാണ് ജോൺ ന്യൂട്ടൻ വളരെ മനോഹരമായിട്ട് ഒരു പാട്ട് എഴുതിയത് There is a more beautiful voice than Jim Rees or Lata Mangeshkar and uh, John Newton has described what that beautiful voice. ഒരു വാഴമ വ്യാപാരിയായിട്ട് ജീവിതം ആരംഭിച്ച് ഏറ്റവും ഒടുവിലെ ആ അടിമ വ്യാപാരത്തിന്റെ ഉടമയായി മാറിയ ജോൺ ന്യൂട്ടന്റെ ജീവചരിത്രമാണ് അമേസിംഗ് ഡേസ് ഹൗസ് ഇൻ ദി സൗണ്ട് എന്ന ഗാനം ജോൺ ന്യൂട്ടൻ ഹു സ്റ്റാർട്ടഡ് ഹിസ് ലൈഫ് ആസ് എ സ്ലേവ് ട്രേഡർ ആൻഡ് ദെൻ ഹി ബിക്കേം എ സ്ലേവ് ഓണർ and when he turned to lord jesus he wrote his life story in the song amazing grace indo namaka adhyath life paadikula why why should we why don't we sing the first uh, amazing grace how sweet the sound that say ജോയിൻ ചെയ്തു 
എന്റെ പിതാവിനെ രൂപാന്തരപ്പെടുത്തിയ സുവിശേഷത്തിന്റെ സാക്ഷ്യം വഹിക്കണമെന്നുള്ള ഒരു ആത്മഭാരം എനിക്കുണ്ടായി എൺപത്തി ഒമ്പതിലെ ഞാൻ ജോലി വിട്ട് ബാംഗ്ലൂരിൽ കഥാവിലും പഠിക്കാൻ തൊണ്ണൂറ്റി രണ്ടിൽ വിവാഹം കഴിച്ചു കഴിഞ്ഞ ഇരുപത്തിരണ്ട് വർഷത്തോളം ആയിട്ട് കണ്ണൂരിൽ കഥാവിലെ വിലയുള്ള ബന്ധത്തിലായിരുന്നു ചില പുസ്തകങ്ങൾ മലയാളത്തിലേക്ക് പരിഭാഷപ്പെടുത്തുവാനും അതുപോലെ സ്വന്തമായിട്ട് ചില പുസ്തകങ്ങൾ എഴുതുവാനും ദൈവനെ സഹായിച്ചു ചില പുസ്തകങ്ങൾ എഴുതി അതിന്റെ ചില നാല് പുസ്തകങ്ങൾ ഇപ്പോഴും ഉണ്ട് മറ്റു പുസ്തകങ്ങൾ ലഭ്യമല്ല നിങ്ങൾക്ക് ഇതിന്റെ കോപ്പികളെ നേരത്തെ നമ്മുടെ അനിയച്ചായ തന്നിരുന്നതാണെന്ന് ഞാൻ വിശ്വസിക്കുന്നു അതിന് കോപ്പി ആവശ്യമുണ്ടെങ്കിൽ ചില കോപ്പികൾ മാത്രമേ കൊടുത്തുള്ളൂ നിങ്ങൾക്ക് ഞാൻ എത്തിച്ചു തരുന്നു നിങ്ങളുടെ തിരക്കുള്ള ജീവിതത്തിലെ വളരെ പഠിക്കാനുള്ള ഒരു സീരിയാണ് അറുന്നൂറ്റി നാൽപ്പത് മണിക്കൂർ ദൈർഘ്യമുള്ള വളരെ മനോഹരമായ ഒരു സീരിയാണ് ഡി വി ഡി ഫോർമാറ്റിലാണ് യു എസ് ബിയിലേക്കോ നിങ്ങളുടെ എം ബി ത്രീയിലേക്കോ പിന്നീട് കൺവേർട്ട് ചെയ്യുക and uh, i have a cd too that uh, that has messages for uh, 640 hours long which you can convert to mp3 and listen in your cars adore kaariya susan makale anugraha sneha avare avare ulla sagodaramare orthe ningal prarthi and my wife is susan and the children anugraha and sneha two daughters I remember them also in your prayers devo manalikunnengil ee varsham njangale high range like edikil vannapram anna sarathikku maarvaraana aagrahikkunnu and if god willing this year we are planning to move to high range um, and start a new ministry there nalla samanam ningalil nalla samanathilum kerala ennu parannathu thrissur konde avasanikkunna salam and for most of you when you hear kerala that ends with thrissur oru amerikkarkar mathrame njangada naattil nullu ivide adha jose le undo undo yeah only brother jose mutat is from his area that's the only person here everybody else is from thrissur മലബാറിലെ ശുശ്രൂഷയെ കുറിച്ച് ശുശ്രൂഷന്മാരെ കുറിച്ച് നിങ്ങൾക്ക് വേണ്ടത്ര പരിചയമില്ല നിങ്ങൾക്ക് ലഭിക്കുന്ന അപ്പീലുകൾ നല്ല ശതമാനവും അവിടുന്ന് അല്ല എന്നുള്ളതും എനിക്കറിയാം ദൈവം അറിയുന്ന എന്നാൽ നിങ്ങൾ അറിയാത്ത അനേകരെ മലബാറിന്റെ വിവിധ ജില്ലകളിലുണ്ട് മിടക്കന്മാരെയാണല്ലോ പലപ്പോഴും ലോകം അറിയുന്നത് God, the world recognizes clever and smart people matru karyangal jan orpikiyana thorunu parayiyane ee almiya shushrusha ennu parayunnade stage ile shushrushyo ee pustham eduthunnu mathramalla let me remind you one thing spiritual ministry is not done from the stage or writing through the books edarathu devathinu vendi prayojanapadunnu ennu parayunnade ende abhiprayathil ningal yojikkum ennu enikku ariyilla yojichillengil njan parayunnu ragasyamayite devathinte vadam arikkunna devadasamaya in my view those who are doing effectively god ministries are those who are secretly doing it and visiting home to home avaru veliya prasangar aayikkilla avaru veliya eluthukar aayikkilla avaru veliya theologianmar aayikkilla they may not be big speakers they may not be big writers or theologians pradeshathilude kathavane vadam arichu sansabhagal loopaduthugiyum aathmaathu nigadiyum cheyyunna anega devadasanmar മലബാറിലുണ്ട് കൈരേജിലുണ്ട് വടക്കേന്റെ നിങ്ങളുടെ പ്രാർത്ഥന അവർക്ക് ആവശ്യമാണ് ഭൗതികമായ കൂട്ടായ്മ അവർക്ക് ആവശ്യമാണ് നിങ്ങളെ കൊടുക്കുന്ന കൂട്ടായ്മകൾ ഒരിക്കലും വാരി വീതം കൊടുക്കരുത് the minister the support that you give to different ministry should not be thrown to any ministry avashyakaram aaranannu manasilaakki cheyvanulla oru uttravadathum ningalkundu and there is a responsibility for you to identify the need and give to the needful people prasadhar palapolum avashyakaralla enna enikku bodhiyam and i know that um, sometimes uh, money goes to people who are not really need, needed needy പലപ്പോഴും നിങ്ങൾക്ക് ലഭിക്കുന്ന കത്തുകളിൽ ഈ ഭാഗങ്ങളിൽ ആയിരിക്കില്ല അതുകൊണ്ട് വരുന്ന ദോഷങ്ങളില്ല നിങ്ങൾ അങ്ങനെയുള്ള സഹോദരന്മാരെ കൂടെ കരുതണം എന്നുള്ള കാര്യം ഞാൻ ഓർപ്പിക്കുകയാണ് ചെറുപ്പുള്ള പ്രണേഷ് പി സി അതുപോലെ തോമസ് മാത്യു അവരും സുവിശേഷന്മാരായ കർത്താവിന്റെ വരയിൽ എന്നോടൊപ്പം സഹകരിക്കുന്നു മറ്റു ചില സഹോദരന്മാരുണ്ട് അവരെയും പ്രാർത്ഥനകൾ 
Thomas, Matthew, they are working with me. Remember them and remember other brothers too. Devo dire che non lo so di altri. Let's uh, divert our attention to the word of God. Trishurle è un posto da mai un centro ma è Guruvayu centro. In Trishur there is a famous temple called Guruvayu temple. E c'è altro che le ha detto che non 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 ha detto And the, the sons and daughters will ask their parents to close their eyes and uh, meditate on the gods there. And when they, they meditate on the god and open their eyes, the sons and daughters are gone. And then these elderly parents are walking through the streets of Trishul not knowing where to go. In, uh, we use disposable things a lot these days. And when I hear such uh, incidents, sometimes I think that for those children, their parents are disposable. In other children, they are possible to be a disposable parents. So, I give the title to my message to the disposable parents. If you see the name, Aramadiyayam, Adende, Omme, Rande, Waki. I'd like to draw your attention to Ephesians chapter 6, verses 1 and 2. Makale, you are the Amir Parmare, the Tavil, and the Sipin, Adanyay, Mulu. Then, to Nanme, and Dagwan, and Nibumi, Dirgai, Surikwan, and the Apanim, Ame, and the Manika. Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Honor your father and mother, which is the first commandment with a promise, that it may go well with you and that you may enjoy long life on the earth. Uh, ten commandments have been divided into two groups. The first part is our responsibility towards God. Vertical relationship. And that is a vertical relationship. And then from uh, commandment 5 to 10 is uh, our relationship with the human beings. It's a horizontal relationship. In the second group, which is the first commandment? Honor your father and your mother. But uh, when you look at those uh, second group, which one is the serious uh, commandment? And um, which is the most serious offense uh, because of which some people were uh, excommunicated from the Lord's Supper? Which, which is that commandment? The Honor your father and mother, do not kill, do not commit adultery. Which one is the most serious? Adultery. Yeah. Which one is the most serious? The adultery is. And murder is also. Yeah, if uh, anybody has committed these two uh, sins, I, I don't think we will tolerate them in the assembly. So in our view, the greatest sin is adultery and murder. But in God's view, that is not the case. God's view, the greatest sin is if you dishonor your father and your mother. Why did God put this commandment at the top? Because my life has started with relationship with my mother and my father. My wife's name is Susan. She was the lady whom I saw first. The lady you saw first is your mother. Uh, brother Joy Chan didn't see her um, uh, Amama first. Ariane. Who, who did he see first? The lady. That was his mother. Uh, 
If you ask the children today who you saw first, they will say, I saw the doctor or the nurse. Because most of the births take place at hospital today, but I was given birth at, at home. And the first word I said was, Amma. And the first person I called, first man I addressed was my father. So our relationship has started with from our mother and our father. And if this relationship is broken, our family, our life is broken. If this relationship is broken, this fact, this church will be broken. And this relationship is broken, Canada, America and all the countries of the world will be collapsed. And how, how, what are the ways in which we can respect our father and our mother? All, all those who are children here, can they raise their hand? Children. Yeah, we are all children, sons or daughters. So we have some responsibility towards our father and mother. Maybe some of you are thinking about that. I have seen that when I speak, some children keep texting. Please do not do that. Please pay attention. <laughs> But if you are preparing a message for the next Sunday, that's okay. Uh, how should we honor our father and our mother? The first thing is when they are getting elderly, we need to protect them. 1 Timothy um, chapter 5 verse 4. 1 Timothy chapter 5 verse 4. But if any, uh, if any widow have children or uh, nephews, uh, let them learn first to show pity at home and to, re to requite them, uh, their parents, for that is good and acceptable before God. Okay, I want to say that 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 In another translation it says repay. I want to say that I want to say that I want to say I have taken education loan for my children. And the repayment of that happens after their education is complete. And I am debtful to my father and mother for a few things and I am repaying them when I am grown enough. Their, every son and every daughter is, uh, debt, uh, is in debt to their parents and they need to repay. There is something that all children need to pay attention to. If we are in a good position to pay this, the responsibility goes to our parents. Our education, our job, our health, everything is because of our parents. So we, we are not self-existent. It is our parents who have given us this life. They have brought us up through trouble and tears and problems. And the children growing up in Canada should also remember this. In Canada, after a month, there will be time of winter and snow. In America, I have seen uh, parents who are going through poverty. And made most of the parents have brought up their children through poverty and struggle. And when they are elderly and when they are weak, we should never discard them. I have a um, heard the story of eraser and a pencil. Once a pencil told eraser like this. Pencil told eraser that now you look so dark and you are disfigured. 
I have seen children who are not willing to talk to their parents a word. And when if my children behave that way, I would know the pain of my heart. One day when you grow up children, you will understand. When you will be grown, you will be married, when you will have your own children, if they behave to you the way you are behaving today, you will know the pain. Respect your father and your mother. The third thing is the fear. Leviticus chapter 19 verse 3 we read. Okay, children, it is necessary that you fear your case. This fear is mixed with honor and respect. And the fourth thing is you should obey their commandment, obey their word. We read here that um, children obey your parents in the Lord. Um, Proverbs chapter 6, verse 20 onwards we will read. Proverbs chapter 6, verse 20 onwards. മകനെന്നിന്റെ <laughs> In verse 20, he says, My son, keep your father's command and do not forsake your mother's teaching. And from 22, it says, When you walk, they will guide you. When you sleep, they will watch over you. And when you take some critical decisions in your life, you should involve your parents in that. When you uh, choose a course or when you choose a career, probably you have better information than your parents. But uh, in my view, uh, children need to take some care, some critical, deci important decisions in their life. So I believe that in such situations you should always involve your parents in your decision making. Uh, you have freedom in many other areas. But when I think that when you take some important decisions about your own life, you should also include your parents. What is that? What is the greatest thing there? Which decision is that? The biggest marriage. Marriage, the biggest decision that you take in your life. We have heard about many failed marriages. Many times we send our children to hostel and to far away uh, universities. Uh, we, when we are in India, we send our children to Mangalapuram, Hyderabad or Bangalore to study. And we have heard about many failed marriages. Meet a lot of new faces there in campus. And because of the technical devices today, they get more connected. Facebook test message And then they build up their relationship with, uh, through Facebook and other text messages. And many young people, many um, young boys and girls just 
based on the external attraction and not looking at the family background, not looking at faith situation, they choose their life partner. When I was living in a home in America, I found a book in their bookshelf. I couldn't finish all of it. Uh, the name of the book is this. When the good children take bad decisions. The name of the book is when the good children take bad decisions. Home education, home schooling, you can see that the mother is going to go to the college. In that story, after the home schooling is finished, the son was sent to study in California. And there was a pastor's son. And he had three children. He said that uh, we had an experience of heaven in our home. And this uh, eldest son called uh, his father uh, after a few months and uh, this son who called the, his, the, the children of this pastor also were uh, very commendable people in the church One, uh, he called uh, his father from California from his campus and asked uh, father is the salvation only through Jesus Christ uh, isn't there a salvation and then father explained those things to the, the to his son. And uh, his uh, daughter also started asking this question. And the son who was in California stopped calling home. One day, after many months, he called his father late at night and he told his father, uh, Father, I, I have, um, I, I, I'm married. And that girl is a, a Buddhist from Korea. There are many uh, children of, uh, children brought up in good Christian homes got in such relations and failed their life. When I go to attend some marriages, I look at parents. And I have seen parents who take part in their children's marriage with great sorrow. And one reason why divorce is on rise is this. And one reason why divorce is on high, why marriages are failing is because children are not getting their parents involved in their marriage and decision making. And I have heard about some teenagers and some of them, uh, they finish their course, they even get a nice job, but still they wouldn't get married. Oh, they are afraid of getting married. You know, there is only one animal who has fear in it, in him, and that is human being. Planet. I, I, I watch uh, the, uh, the program Animal Planet. And uh, I see some uh, lion chasing deer. Even ten times the lion fails, the lion will not give up. And if there is any uh, animal or creature that gives up is human being. And if you decide that I am not going to get married because some marriages failed, you are really um, a, a failed person. When you enter into your youth, you need a lot of prayer. You should talk to your parents about these things. And you need to talk to the elders of the assembly about your life and decisions. If you ever get in a trap in a relationship with someone else, 
boys should always talk to their father and girls should always talk to their mother marriage is the happiest moment in a family and you should always get your parents involved in your happiest moment. Oh, I need to talk more about this, but there is no time. The fifth thing is, you should address your parents in a respectful way. Uh, the best example I see in the Bible is King Solomon. Uh, in uh, um, first king chapter uh, chapter 2 verse 20 we see how solomon addresses uh, solomon is a king but he is addressing his mother respectfully and say mother ask me and uh, in uh, genesis chapter 44 we see that joseph also responded to his father so respectfully. I have read about Oprah Winfrey. Oprah Winfrey started her life in poverty, but then she became very rich. Even when she, uh, she was so famous, she never forgot her, her mother, how her mother brought her up. And she, how gracefully she talks to her mother. Children, let me ask you this question. Uh, have you been talking to your parents, your father and your mother with respect and grace? Maybe they are uh, thinking... Um, they, they are reluctant to tell you. But when you are not showing respect, their heart is painful. And only you will know the pain when you have your own children. And the sixth thing is we should be grateful to them. In which Psalm 103 verse 2 we read. Do not forget his benefits at all. Mardona, I have read this. This Mardona was brought up as a, as a, a poor uh, child. But he had a tattoo on his hand this way. Ah, uh, I love you. That, that, uh, the tattoo says, Tota, I love you. Tota, I love you. Uh, he used to call his mother Tota. Though he would do football coaching, he would have a man of a number on a man of a man of a man when he was in Doha for a football coaching, he, he was given the news that his mother died. And he just uh, ignored the great event and the great reward there and went back to his mother who was dead. And I have read so many novels in Malayalam. And uh, all these uh, novels that I mentioned have the stories of how parents brought up their children through poverty. Probably our own parents have brought us up through poverty like this. We always should be grateful to them. The seventh thing is we should be submissive to their discipline. In Hebrew chapter 12 verse 7 we read that. When we do something wrong, it is possible that our parents would discipline us. Now, we should never ignore that. In, uh, today, in many uh, homes, parents are afraid of disciplining their children. In, uh, in, in, in the book of Samuel, uh, God is talking to Eli. Right? God tells Eli that you did not discipline your children properly. Oh, today, if your parents are making bad decisions about their marriage or career, 
Parents are not uh, brave enough to discipline them. Oh, children, uh, no matter how big sins they commit, many parents are closing their eyes. God says, Eli, you were like this. You did not discipline them properly. What could be the reason? You know, in Kerala, if children are disciplined severely, some of them will commit suicide. Or if they will go outside and do the registered marriage. Parents cannot speak. I heard that uh, the same in America too. In America, there is a number 911. If you discipline me, I'll call 911. Uh, two Malayalis went to Delhi once. They went to a hotel. And they said that we need a parotta and curry to eat. So then they didn't know Hindi. Uh, so they needed some uh, gravy of that. Uh, so one of them said uh, we need char. Gravy. The supplier, the waiter who didn't know Malayalam, he thought char means four and he brought four parathas. <laughs> and uh, he got angry and he said, Che. <laughs> and the supplier brought six more parathas because Che means six. <laughs> then the other friend said, Do not speak anything. If you speak, more parathas will come. <laughs> This is the situation in many of our homes. Parents cannot speak. Parents cannot discipline children. Oh, no matter whatever decision they take, parents cannot discipline them. Oh, but children, you should also, you, you should know that such exp experience could happen in your own life. Too. <laughs> Three minutes left, but I'll take five minutes. Okay. What, what are the reasons why we should uh, uh, honor our parents? First is, this is God's commandment. Oh, this is God's commandment to children that obey your parents. There are no options for it. Second thing, this is the only commandment with reward. No other commandment has reward. Honor, honor your parents so that you live longer in this on the earth. And the third thing is, this is uh, pleasing to God. Uh, in Colossians chapter 3 verse 20 we read that. And the fourth is whatever we sow, we will reap. Now, and if we uh, if we take care of our children, uh, uh, when we are older, they will take care of us. Magalum, magalum. Our apnei mami brudraaye sesham. Um, there's a story that uh, when uh, parents got older, children were uh, so fed up that they put those parents in a nursing home. And uh, the, the son and daughter, they just left their parents in the nursing home and they are going back in their car. And uh, the small children were also in the car. And the son one while he was driving uh, back home, he just noticed that his uh, small son at the back was uh, writing something on a piece of paper. So father asked his son, what are you doing? So the son said, I am just noting down, I am drawing something. And he said, what are you drawing? Uh, so the son said, uh, uh, 
ചില വർഷങ്ങൾ കഴിയുമ്പോൾ പപ്പയും മമ്മയും അപ്പച്ചനെ പോലെയും അമ്മച്ചിയെ പോലെയും പ്രായമാണ് ഇതേ ദേശിക ഹോമിൽ വേണം ഞങ്ങൾക്ക് നിങ്ങളെയും വിടുവാൻ ഏഷ്യകവിലേക്കുള്ള റൂട്ട് ഞാൻ ഇപ്പോഴേ വരച്ചു വയ്ക്കും So I am taking the route to that nursing home now. Idu mathram sudhikku. So children be careful. Nammude appane mamme nam snehikkunnilla karudunnilla engil oru kaalathu nammudum appanum amme aagum am idey anupam namakku. Children remember if you don't obey your you don't respect your parents there will be a time when you are old and your parents will your children will do the same. Anje and the fifth thing ഭദ്രമായ ഒരു ജീവിതം അവർ കുടുംബമാണ് ഭദ്രമായ ഒരു സഭയുടെ അടിസ്ഥാനം ഒരു വളരെ മനോഹരമായ ഒരു പുസ്തകം ഞാൻ വായിച്ചിട്ടുണ്ട് അതിൽ അദ്ദേഹം വളരെ പ്രശസ്തമായ വളരെ പ്രധാനപ്പെട്ട ഒരു കാര്യം പറയുന്നു പറയുന്നില്ല he doesn't talk about bethany assembly but i am just uh, adding bethany assembly is valare shaktamaya sabhayaganam engil if you want bethany assembly to be a strong assembly valare shaktamaya chela kudumbam ipidi unda it is needed that this assembly have has some uh, strong families kudumba thagarnal samoham thagar if families are broken society will be broken logam thagar and the world will be broken ee thagarchi aanu ennu sambhavichondi and this brokenness is happening around the lord, world lord willington ridikile parnil prasthavane engeya lord willington uh, did a statement like this vidya avasathinum vishwasathe maatiyal ninga srishtikkuvan pogunnade adha parnja vaathu kaan divorce cheyilla ninga srishtikkuvan pogunnade oru kootam valare tantrashaligalaya sutrashaligalaya pishajukalaya he said this if you if you divorce a faith from education you are going to create a few clever devils in the americanum enikku kaanada oru vidyabhyasathe kurichu enikku ariyan pattilla njane amerikaye kurichu vaayichirundade inna vidyabhyasathil ninnum vishwasathe maatikondirikkiya but america i know that they are divorcing faith and education separating it nammade vyaktiparavaya jeevithathil ninnum nammade kudumba jeevithathil ninnum vishwasathe maatirundi let's not share divorce let's not depart faith from our family life pinnigale ningade jeevithathil ninnum ee pramaanangale ningal maatirundi Oh children never depart from these uh, principles in your life. Kaiyumengil njan parayunu neshikhomil ningade appaneyum ammeyum kondu thalal. If it's possible don't leave your parents in the nursing home. Njan ekushil vechu oru neshikhomil poi adile chala chithrangale ende kaivasham undu. Valare karalalikkunna oru chithram aanu enikku avu kaanuvan sadhu. I visited a nursing home in Houston and I have some pictures of that with me that's heartbreaking. Njan parayunu oru kaaryam idana. This is what I say. പ്രായമായി കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ അപ്പനും മക്കളെ നോക്കുകയല്ലെങ്കിൽ എല്ലാ മാതാപിതാക്കളും പ്രാർത്ഥിക്കേണ്ട ഒരു പ്രാർത്ഥനയുണ്ട് എനിക്ക് ദൈവം ഒരു രോഗം നൽകുകയാണെങ്കിൽ എനിക്ക് അത് അൽഷിമേഴ്സ് നൽകും ഈ മക്കൾ പെരുമാറുന്നത് മകനും മരുമോളും ഒക്കെ പെരുമാറുമ്പോൾ എന്ത് പെരുമാറിയാലും ഇതൊന്നും അറിയേണ്ടി വരില്ലല്ലോ because whatever way my children are treating me i cannot i don't remember it that's good modi bharatil vannada ipo vajpayee arnilla jodi bharat fernando sarnilla mb rao nadilla avarella alshmesh ruvila now modi has uh, modi has become the prime minister of india and the vajpayee and jodi fernando is none of them know this because they have lost their memory appo enikku oru aagraham undu enikku rogam varigana ende ka ende kaalil vannotta ende kai ki varan paadilla enikku ezhudam so i always pray to god if i if i have some disease it's okay if it is come to my leg but not to my hand because i want to write devan ningale sahayikkate may god bless you ningala maadavadakale snehikkuka karuduga okay avarkulla kadam tirichu koduga obey your parents respect them and repay their debt to them ningalku nanmayulla and god will bless you devan namma sahayikkum may god bless all of us varunna dushkal ningale malabarne ortha prarthikanam sushu indide sushushukale ortha prarthikanam in the coming days please remember malaba in your prayers and the ministry is happening in india in the bada varuva kanju soda varuva ningada snehavum adu pole aadithyavum okka anubhi paaram deva sahayichu thodunum ningala prarthanil njangale smarikkya god enabled me to come to canada and uh, i was uh, invited to many homes in this uh, church and i thank you all of you let's pray or